still have to deal with the new position in the town clerk's office, right? Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's not on this sheet. That was on the front one of the front pages of the, your packet there. Um, so basically, on that, there's two parts, so to speak. It's taking uh, the bookkeeper position in that department and making it into a senior bookkeeper. So that is in the budget for 39 weeks at a total of $2,676.85 and then creating a new full-time position for a town clerk assistant. The total cost for a year of that is $59,549.12 and for 39 weeks, which is what the 18 budget impact would be, it's $44,000. Six hundred and sixty-one dollars and eighty-four cents. Is that plus benefits? Yes, that includes everything. Yeah. That includes. I mean, everything. that's making an assumption on benefits, of course, because we don't okay. know. All right. Yeah. That we usually do a two-person. If we know there's a new position, we've kind of always just put it in the budget as a two-person position. Yeah. Now. A two-person health plan. Let's go around. So, as far as the new, I know we were talking about last week. If there was a new position in the town clerk office, there would definitely have to be some. We'd have to set up a new window. There would be a lot of things that would have to be done, right? If that person was full time, we would have to have an additional space for them to work. Right. Okay. Right. Is this going to give us any more extended hours by putting a, a new person on? Is it going to open up Friday afternoons, or is it going to open up maybe a, a night here or there, or a Saturday morning? Uh, you know, if you know, I know we've had lots of lines up there. But he, I don't know of a DMV that had, doesn't have lots of lines. And, uh, I, I'm just, you know, if it's gonna, if it's gonna make the service better, then I, I don't have a problem with that. I just want to make sure that. I think the, the request was to have that new position be full time and to work full time during the hours that they are currently open. I believe that's how she presented it when she was here. But I believe that's correct. Yeah, I think so too. I will tell you there are a lot of complaints about the uh, hours. I, I've explained to what the situation is to everyone that's mentioned it to me, but I have heard a lot of flack. Mm -hmm. and it's not new. I've heard it before this year. Um, I've uh, mentioned to people that it's they're there earlier and later. But so people f have a hard time seeing another person and right. yeah, not have an extension of hours. My feelings, I'm 100% for this, but I'm 100% for adding people to the DPW, and I'm 100% right. that, that the fire department needs more people, and I'm 100% that the police department needs more people, and I know we can't afford it. And you know, you know, during the summertime, we have. What, one guy maybe that can do highway work sometimes? Everybody sometimes else is on trash? One person. Yeah. one person? That's that's a crucial uh, service that the town provides. So, you know, you know, just my feeling is that it should go to a warrant article. That That's my feeling. And if people want it, the voters want it, then they can vote for it. But if it's in the, you know, you know, and if, if the DPW wanted somebody else, put it in a warrant article. Mm. I mean, because I think we need we need employees all around this town. Mm -hmm. And DPW is, I mean, think of what they're doing in the summer. Oh, I know. Yeah, and I agree, too, also with what Rick said, with having another face there and still closing at 1130 on Fridays is going to It's hard to justify it. Yeah. yeah. I think we leave it for a warrant article. I would make a motion for the goes to a warrant article. I'll second. Any other discussion on that? All in favor? Put in the warrant article. 